Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd. Habatha fillah continue on in our study of Sheikh Abdul Razak's wonderful explanation of the dua of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam inni ala dhikrika wa shukrika wa husni ibadatika O Allah, please assist me in remembering you and being grateful to you and in perfecting my worship to you subhanahu wa ta'ala um, the sheikh mentions the ayah where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in kitab al-kareem wa in tu'addu ni'matullahi la tuhsuha Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, and if you were to count the blessings of Allah, you wouldn't be able to account for them. You wouldn't be able to, to count them. You know, the many, many blessings that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has favored us with and favored you and I specifically with, with Islam, with, you, you just can't begin to count the many ni'am of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the ni'mah of your health, the ni'mah of your wealth, the ni'mah of your 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 religion, the ni'mah of being on the sun of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam bi'idnihi subhanah and all the great blessings that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has favored us with and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be upon the sun of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and bless us to be thankful and grateful to him subhanah so then he says an-ni'mu an-ni'm an-ni'm kathira wa shakir qaleel that's very important and it gives us insight into ourselves that the blessings are many so many and as Allah mentions that they're uncountable but the thankfulness is very little our gratefulness our gratitude is very little we're not we're not grateful Allah musta'an and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in kitab al-kareem wa qalilun min ibadati وَقَلِيلٌ مِّنْ عِبَادِي شُكُورٌ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, the kitab al -Kareem, and few of my servants are grateful, are thankful. Very few. So, if a person goes through their life and they are not thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then they have not gained that favor from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's why we ask Allah. That's why we make this, this dua. And that's the point of going back to the dua. Allahumma a'anni ala dhikrika. A'anni ala dhikrika wa shukrika. Oh Allah, please assist me in being thankful and grateful to you. And that's why the shakirin, they ask Allah to assist them with that by saying this dua. And then in the du'a where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَحُسْنِ ibadatika," And, you know, perfecting your uh, worship. He says, وَتَأَمَّلْ هُنَا لَمْ يَقُولْ وَعِبَادَتُكَ You know, and, and reflect here. That Allah said, did not say, uh, uh, He did not say, your worship. قَالَ وَحُسْنِ عِبَادَتِكَ لِأَنَّ عِبَادَ لَا تُقْبَلْ إِلَّا أَنْ أَنْتَسَفَتْ بِالْحُسْنِ وَلَا تُكُونْ عِبَادَ مُنْتَسِفَةٍ بِالْحُسْنِ إِلَّا إِذَا أَجْتَمَعَ فِيهَا أَمْرَانَ خَلَاص لِلْمَعْبُودِ وَمُتَابَعَ لِرَسُولِ اللَّهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ Great, fantastic faida from the Shaykh. He says, and look, look here. Allah said in the du'a, وَحُسْنِ عِبَادَتِكَ وَحُسْنِ عِبَادَتِكَ Allah did not say, وَعِبَادَتُكَ He did not say, but he, instead he said, حُسْنِ عِبَادَتِكَ You know, to perfect that ibadah, not just your, not just worship, not just worshiping you. Oh Allah, assist me in worshiping you. But instead, the dua is husn, husni ibadatika. In in perfecting 
in having good and excellent worship of you. And that is because ibadah is not accepted unless it is described as husn. Did you see that? Listen to that again. Ibadah, worship, is not accepted unless it is described or it can be described as husn, uh, you know, righteous or excellent. And it can only be, and, and ibadah can only be described as husn if it is, if it entails two things. Al-ikhlas lil ma'bud, you know, sincerity to the one that's worship, meaning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wathanian, the second, wa mutaba li Rasulillahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and then it follows the sunnah of the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So here we see that this dua that Allah subhanahu wa that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned in this dua, husn ibadatika, you know, perfect ibadah. And perfect ibadah can only be if it is following the sunnah of the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and that is, the ibadah is directed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So for example, those groups and sects that go to the grave, they are violating, they go to the grave and pray and supplicate to the grave and say, O oh, Abdul Qadir Jailani, O oh, so-and-so, please take my dua to Allah. They are seeking shafa'a from uh, or making tawassal methamum seeking to draw near uh, uh, you know they're, they're 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 seeking to draw near to Allah through an intercession so they're making a shafa and they're making a shafa methamum sinful wickedness shirkia because they should be asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala directly. So here they have a violate they have violated ikhlas and the ibadah. You don't want assistance in to continue to be on shirk, continue to call other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and supplicate to other Allah. You want assistance from Allah to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in accordance to how the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did it, and free from shirk. That it only that your ibadah goes only to Allah. And in this regard, the Sheikh then says, in this regard, Fudayl ibn Iyad, Rahimullah Ta'ala said, Fi qawlihi ta'ala, li yablukum ayyukum ahsanu amala, that Fudayl ibn Iyad said, when uh, mentioning, explaining where the ayat where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that he tests us, and, you know, li yablukum ayyukum ahsanu amala, to test you to see which one of you is best in deeds, he described he explained what this means. He said, "Akhlasuhu wa aswabuhu." Have a ma'ana. Qolahu ahsana amala. He said uh, that this means the most sincere from amongst you, and the most correct in performing that ibadah. And what is that perfection in performing that ibadah? That's following the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah وسلم, So that shows those shartain uh, qubul amal, those two conditions for having your deeds accepted, which are what? Are ikhlas to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and mutaba and following the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So this is what Fudayl ibn Iyad is saying. And he said, Qil, and then it was said to him, Ya Aba, uh, ya Aba Ali, wa ma akhlasuhu wa aswabuhu. So then they asked him, O oh, Abu Ali, what is what does this mean? The akhlasuhu wa aswabuhu, the the most sincere of him, and the the most correct of him. He said, "In al amal ida kana khalasan wa lam yukun sawaban lam yukbal." He said, "If a, a deed is done with sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa taala, but it is not correct, then it is not accepted." Meaning, you have to have both those conditions. وَإِذَا كَانَ سَوَابًا وَلَمْ يُكُونُ خَالِسًا لَمْ يُقْبَلْ حَتَّى يُكُونُ خَالِسًا وَسَوَابًا And he said, and if it is correct, it's done correctly, but it's not done with sincerity, sincerity to Allah, correctness means on the sunnah, I mean you've done it in accordance with the sunnah, but your heart wasn't sincere to Allah, or, or, or that your heart, you were doing it, to Allah and Abdul Qadir Jailani or, or to the Imam of the Tijani sect or whoever, then you didn't have ikhlas, it's not accepted. It's not accepted. It has to have ikhlas was sawab. You know, it has to be ikhlas 
wa in accordance with the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And then he said, "Well, ikhlas ma kana lillah." And ikhlas or is that which is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, worshiping Allah alone. Wa sawab ma kana ala sunnah. And sawab being correct is that which is on the sunnah. Wa hadha aslan ajtami'a fi qawlaka fi dua wa husn ibadatika and and then uh, sheikh abd razaq he says and those two foundations ikhlas wa mutaba you know following the sunnah and sincerity to allah they come together in your dua in that supplication when you say husn ibadatika when you say uh, you want uh, the accepted and perfect ibadah because perfect ibadah is that which is sincerely to Allah and that which is on the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and we will stop there and in the next sitting which will be short we'll finish this short uh, treaties if you will and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam